As soon as the final whistle was blown, it didn't take long for the celebrations to start. The squeals of delight because they know how important this victory is. For the first time in 20 years, the England's women's team are world champions. This victory even sweeter after the heartache of losing their last three World Cup finals. Arriving back home today, there were some new accessories, a silver cup, medals and a few big smiles, as well as some remnants of the celebrations from the night before. I think we're only just beginning to realise how big this World Cup has been and what a special moment this occasion, walking back with, with these medals round our necks and carrying this trophy back is, is actually is. It was Emily Scarrett who helped seal victory over Canada, scoring 16 points out of England's winning score of 21-9. But off the rugby pitch, the team have day jobs as varied as a teacher, vet and lifeguard. And for Marley Packer, who also works as a plumber, she has a few days to celebrate before returning to work on Thursday. I probably put my work uniform on, not wanting to go, but uh, I've, to be honest with you, I've missed my team. Um, there's a couple of the guys that I talk to quite often on the phone and they've been sharing their support and sending text messages. So it'd be nice to have a good catch up with them. Will you be carrying the medal in your sort of plumber's out uniform as well? Yeah, I, I haven't thought about that to be honest, but I've got <laughs> enough pockets in my trousers. I could probably fit it in there somewhere to be honest. Just don't want to damage it. <laughs> and with former England player and captain Catherine Spencer, the success means that finally women's rugby is taking centre stage. These are rugby players that girls, young girls can look up to and, and want to be like when they're older so it's it's really great to see these names appearing in the media like, and hopefully become household names and, and people for younger rugby players to look up to. After the women's victory it will now be up to the England men's team to prove they too can be champions at the World Cup next year. They only need to look to the women's team to see how it's done. Charlotte Grant, 5 News, Twickenham.